Is it possible to predict the NBA? Based on the fact that FanDuel exists, I'm guessing not. The fact is, the NBA is an unpredictable league, and this past weekend has shown just that. In a blockbuster three-way trade, the Spurs received De'Aaron Fox, while the Kings got Zach Levine, and the Bulls got Zach Collins, Trey Jones, and Kevin Herter. Any other weekend, and this trade would be racking up all the headlines. But the night before, something so unpredictable happened that it's still sending shockwaves throughout the league today, and will continue to do so for many, many years. In a trade only five people in the world knew about, Luka Doncic, yes, the same Luka Doncic who was the MVP frontrunner for much of last season and who's still a top three player in the NBA, alongside, you know, having a holiday named after him in Dallas and being the absolute face of their franchise, was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers in exchange for Anthony Davis. Not even 2K would let you do this, but you know what they say, oftentimes, reality is more unbelievable than fiction. And it's not just the trades, NBA games are becoming unpredictable throughout the years. And again this weekend, we saw that. The Celtics were down 26 points with a little under 3 minutes to go in the third quarter. Their chance of losing? 99.6%. And then Jason Tatum happened. In an MVP caliber performance, Jason Tatum and the Celtics shot the lights out after the third and ended up beating the Sixers by 8 points. Now this got me thinking, is it possible using nothing but Python and data science to come up with a way to predict NBA games at an efficiency not even humans can match? Well, I set out searching and I think I may have found the answer. Julia Cecilia 33 posted on Medium, which is a platform that allows you to create blog posts, in July last year about a tool he'd created with Python and data science. What I intend to do is to use Julius's tool to predict a marquee matchup in tonight's slate of NBA games. The number one seed Oklahoma City Thunder go up against the Milwaukee Bucks, who despite a rough start to the season have turned it around winning the NBA Cup and beating OKC on the way to it. Then, what you're all waiting for. Using his tool, I'm going to predict the outcome of the 2024-2025 NBA Finals using nothing but Python and data science. If you're into coding and data, here's how it works. The first step was to figure out a way to get NBA data in a Python script. And something we can use for this is called an API. Think of an API as a taxi between a data set or an external service and your own code. Want to know all the teams in the NBA alongside their advanced statistics? Fortunately, there's an API for that as well, fittingly called NBA API. The code is pretty simple. We enter two NBA teams and we create a model. What we essentially do is we look at previous games and then ask our model to predict them using statistics. The statistics that Julius used are the team ID, so what is the team, the opponent ID, so what is the opponent, the points per game that the first team averages, alongside whether or not the first team is at home, and whether or not the first team has won their last game. We're not using any advanced statistics like box plus minus, player efficiency rating, anything like that. We're not even using offensive or defensive rating. We're just using these stats to try to predict who will win. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm here in the Jupiter lab that Julius created. Here, all we have to do is input our two teams, then input the amount of points per game that our first team scores, whether or not they're at home, and whether or not they won their last game. So I'll put in my first team, which is OKC, then my second team, which is Milwaukee. OKC, despite having the best defensive rating in the league, also average 117 points per game. This team is a force to be reckoned with. This game's happening at the Paycom Center, so we'll keep the home game variable at one. Also, OKC won the last game, 
blowing out the kings, so the last game result is also going to be a 1. Let's go ahead and run the simulation. As we can see, this model gives OKC a 68.4% chance of defeating the Milwaukee Bucks. Now if we check ESPN analytics, this is blisteringly close to the percentage that they've given. Needless to say, OKC is really favored by both models. And would you look at that, the OKC Thunder blew out the Milwaukee Bucks. Of course, everyone would think OKC would win this game. After all, the Bucks were without both Dame and Giannis. So let's put the model to a tougher test. We're going to use the model to predict the 2025 NBA champions. The Western Conference Final that the model predicted was between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Houston Rockets, who've been on a tear this season. It's close, but the AI favors OKC. The model gives them a 58% chance to advance to their first NBA Finals in the Shea Gilgis Alexander era. Heading on over to the East, we get a matchup for the ages. The model has predicted that the world champion Boston Celtics will play the blazing hot Cleveland Cavaliers, who are on pace to beat the Celtics 64 win season last year, in a matchup that will have everyone glued to the TV. This is the closest one so far, but the model gives the Celtics a 54% chance to move on and advance to their second NBA Finals in a row, and their third since 2022. In what will probably be the most watched finals since the Steph and LeBron era, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder with their MVP caliber player in Shea Gilgis Alexander up against the world champion Boston Celtics who are older and more experienced but might not pull through. After all, the last time we had a back-to-back -back champion was in 2018, seven years ago. I ran the simulations and your 2025 NBA champions are the Boston Celtics who will win back-to-back -back championships and cement Jason Tatum's legacy as one of the greatest players to ever play the game. Yeah, I'm going that far. The man's only 19 and has two chips to his name? We gotta stop with all the corny jokes. They got old real fast. But who knows? Currently, the Celtics and Thunder are joint favorites to win the whole thing. There's been some shaking up recently in the league, as we all know. The question now becomes, can Luka help guide the Lakers to the promised land for the first time since 2020? Will Nico Harrison's gamble pay off and will AD succeed with the Mavs? Only time will tell. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good day.